very, very jittery during the plane ride. I just want up and I want out. They jump from 11 and a half thousand feet. It is the most amazing and wonderful, exhilarating rush that I've ever felt in my life. I was falling towards the ground at 120 miles an hour. I was seeing the world below me, and I knew that my life was in my hands. She looks at me. I'm nodding, giving her the OK signal. She deployed properly, and it was a good skydive. Woo! Good job, Dana. Yeah, it's my girl. My parachute came out, and initially, I could look up, and it was everything you skydiver ever wants to see. It was perfect. I heard a really loud snap. It was so insanely loud. Velcro strap holding one of the two brakes has come undone. Every hair on my body stood on end, and it's like time froze for a second, like, whoa. With the parachute off balance, Shayna spins out of control. It was the most gut-wrenching, sickening feeling of my entire life. She pulls a tab to release the main chute. Why waste my time when I have a reserve? I looked up and I seen the top of my parachute in blue sky and nobody. I'm like, well, where is she at? She's in free fall, just 3,000 feet from the ground. God, yeah. she's in trouble. Oh, God. Shana's life now depends on her reserve chute. Real slowly, just looked up, kind of holding my breath, wondering, is this going to be any better? And no more than I looked at it, I knew I had another problem. Shayla! The lines come out knotted. Shayla! The reserve chute fails to open fully. She came close enough, and I could see. Not only is she under reserve, She's under failing reserve. I was in a body to earth position, basically. I was, my whole body was face down toward the ground. Shayla! Another tailspin. Cross the bridge! Cross the bridge! Cross the bridge! Cross the bridge! And she's shouting back, you know, it's not working. I'm trying. What else do I do? And that still just gets me today to think of this. Shayla! After I had fought it and had tried everything they told me to do, and I, I kind of went from being mad to scared to sad to just simply accepting what was getting ready to happen. Shayla! I said, okay, Lord, it is my time to come home. Just please do not make this hurt. And she hit the pavement. I don't know how to describe it except for like an exploding watermelon, just a burst and then silence. 